Okay, if you're following us, we're uh, live at the Walmart on Keaumoku in Honolulu, Hawaii. We got a small group of people just got here, and I just got here, so we'll wait and see. There are there are uh, security people out here, but so far no um, no problem. Uh, I did some research. This is a um, informational uh, demonstration on the street uh, to support the workers who uh, might want to unionize uh, Walmart. There are 800 or so workers uh, in Walmart in Hawaii. Uh, several stores. I think this is the first and biggest one not unionized workers uh, get an hourly wage, uh, very low benefits and this is a union town and uh, we are in um, Ala Moana area, we're actually right across the street uh, down this way runs right into Ala Moana shopping center This is and, a common. Uh, this is a common. This is a common argument. I just argument. left on Quijotes, which usually has milk for around five dollars. They don't. Okay. Walmart's the only one that does. Okay. Uh, you know, so what? What? Why are you guys here? For your rights? For your rights? For your rights? You guys are here for your rights. Do you guys used to work for Walmart? Actually, I do. You do. You work yes. for them right now. Yes. You're still employed. Yes. And you want to unionize. Yeah. And that's just for your own benefit. Why did you come out of the street? I am out of the street, ma'am. Don't worry about it. I just want to know why you guys. Okay. What, what, what's your What's your deal here? Because it's a I good question. Here, it's a good you question. Want to talk? I can talk to you. Yeah. Just okay. go yell. Oh, right. Just ask you about the yell. yell. Right now, there's uh, there's approximately 800 employees that sit here. Right? They took their benefits away. They cut their pay and they cut their hours. And approximately 25 percent of them are the only ones working full time. And as you know, it's very harsh in this environment where they have to work two to three jobs, right? But when when there's when jobs are hard to find, and this is what the corporations want to do, they feel that that's right. We should be holding them liable for it. There was a study that was done where every employee at Walmart throughout the whole entire nation twelve dollars and twenty five cents right off the bat for race. You can only cost per shop you have fifteen cents more shopping license. Now with uh, so. Nova Smith. That that guy. That I'm. I'm not sure what you told him, but that he seems satisfied with your. Uh... Well, I just told him. Well, he was afraid of you know like what's happening in some of the unionized you know unionizing that's out there, and yet there may be plus and minuses. But at the same time, you can't sit there and say that 800 employees should have their wages, their benefits, their hours cut. We live right. in Honolulu. It, yeah. Nobody can afford that. That's the, right. With the average wage across the nation at 881. You know, we're only asking for 13, 15, you know, here. I mean, right. we're, that's very minimal for here. The right. buying power is like half of what that's you get right. in the mainland. That's right. And, uh, you know, it's time for Walmart to show some respect because who's it costing really? It's costing the community. He's come, he's talking about his milk, but then once he sat there and started listening, he realized real quick, all the rest of the fees that comes because they're wanting to undercut all their employees comes from the community. It's a community-based program that I call it. Walmart's community-based program. Huh? I, I, was, I was just kind of curious, is, have the employees tried to unionize? Actually, this is, um, I'm one of the employees, and uh, we're just starting this campaign here at the store. Are you scared about your job? No. No? No. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I mean, well, I mean, we got the National Labor Board right. Act, or yeah. the National Relations, right. you know. And, yeah. Well, uh, that protects me. You know, under Chapter Seven, it says that what I can and can't do. Right? You know, and same with them. You know, I'm not. I'm. We're here asking for respect. So here, they're worried about unions. When we're an organization, just saying no. We want you to retain. You know, give us back our benefits, like you're supposed to. Give us back the wages that we deserve. You know, we're not even asking for a wage that's actually great for this type of area. It's just. You're not asking just, for a living wage. You're just 
Yeah, yeah well, uh, currently the organization is asking for $13, and in this area it's $15. Now, $15 is real basic for this area, right? You know, it's, I mean, when the average cost of an apartment of even a studio size is, you know, $1,000, $1,200 now, right? So when you when you consider that $13, $15, you know, freedom is, is nothing. But it at least gives you enough of a base where you can feed yourself, keep yourself clothed, and be able to keep a roof over your head. Are they paying above the minimum wage rates? Uh, currently, this store has had three de decreases in the last year for, uh, for a starting wage, where it used to be at $10, it's now at... Uh, what is it, 940, 950? Wow. And um, so as as inflation keeps rising and the cost of living keeps climbing here in Honolulu, they keep decreasing their wages. Yeah. Okay. And there's Midori. <laughs> Slavery is hey, not over. You thought I was gone. <laughs> She's back. She's back. <laughs> you want to say something? Tell us so why tired. are you here? I'm here supporting the, the workers of Walmart. Why? Not Walmart, but the workers of The work. You mentioned the third world. I heard, and somebody who's watching might be able to look it up and get the information back, but a while ago there was they had a production line in uh, Bangladesh. Yes, 112 and there was a workers fire. died. Oh, thank you. I need 112 workers died. They burned up. Bangladesh. They burned to death. There was a factory production line of jeans for uh. Walmart, Gap, and Old Navy. And so prior to that, um, a series of protests, very much like this one, but yeah. much larger and more active, yeah. the workers were protesting for better working conditions because their, their factory, which is about this big, to yeah. know how big this is. This is a big, this is a big this ass is, building. Yeah, this, we call it, yeah, we go by measurements of big ass building. Yeah, this, this qualifies yeah. as big ass. So a few months ago, the Walmart factory in Bangladesh, yeah. um, they didn't have any windows in their factory. Oh. They had no windows. And no one, no windows, and two, no exit doors. So no ex exit emergency doors. So they have this production line, right, of jeans and denims. And what was happening is that machines that were actually inside were um, like emitting all these all these like toxic fumes right. inside and so people were getting sick and they weren't allowed to take smoke breaks and so on and so forth. And after the series of, um, of protests with the, with the workers, um, one day an electric fire went out because the maintenance um, wasn't being kept up with in the factory. Ah, it okay. burst, um, the circuit burst, and then um, the fire broke out and they didn't have any way to get out. Oh, so man. they literally died to death via gases and fire. And Nova's wearing a shirt referencing uh, 1893 when... Uh, some corporate agribiz types uh, <laughs> staged a armed uh, takeover of uh, the nation of Hawaii and uh, formed their own fake republic that then later uh, lobbied for annexation. And that reduced the tariff on uh, sugar and made them a truckload of dough. By dough, I mean gold. And by gold, you know, I did a calculation and people are questioning it. I'm getting some questions. I said that the Walton family fortune of $100 billion, if converted to gold, could be hauled away in a Ford F-150 pickup, but it would need 2,000 trips. And people were saying, Doug, you're making this stuff up. So this is the math on it. A hundred billion dollars is their uh, estimated wealth of the uh, Walton family, Walton's mountain of gold. Now you take uh, the uh, spot price of gold, which is uh, $1,500 an ounce, 16 ounces per pound, and uh, 2,000 pounds per Ford 150 load because it's a one-ton pickup. And you get fitting into the payload bay of a Ford 150 is $48 million worth of gold. And you multiply that by 2,000 and you almost get 
the Waltons family fortune of 100 billion dollars. And you check the math on that, and my math is wrong, let me know, and I'll correct it. But I'm not. I, I've boycotted Walmart since before they even got here. Because of their bad That's business. right. I told them about the, them digging up the bones. They dug up the bones here, they forced themselves into the pyramid in South America, you know? Yeah, That's right. They, they forced their way into small communities that don't want them, and they put the small businesses, the local community businesses, out of business. Now tell me what you're handing That's out. Why tell I me, don't want That's tell why me I what want it is you're handing out to oh, people. These are flyers. I, I don't Let know me who see made one. them. But mainly they have a like the Facebook, a Facebook.com backslash all our Walmart Honolulu. Our Mo so if you go Facebook.com slash our Walmart Honolulu, one word? Yes. Our Walmart Honolulu on Facebook. Right. Learn learn about that. And I think the whole point is to allow uh, the workers here to vote on union to see if they want to unionize at right. some point in the near future. So. Cool. This used to be a union town and as Chris said earlier, this is number one in the U.S. in terms of uh, sales and profitability. It's huge. Cheerful uh, demo here. Hey, you want to say something? On uh, we're live on the internet. What are you ha What are you passing out? Why are you here? And uh, well, this is a flyer from our 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 Walmart. Uh, talking about pay wages needing to be living wages, and this is what we're trying to get some information out on. Hi, fighting for living wage. And uh, I'm out here really to encourage people to. Hi, we're fighting for a living wage. Thanks. To encourage people to organize, to get together, to use their voices and numbers. It's really important. Well, that, that makes sense. You know, uh, Hawaii used to be kind of known as a union town. Maybe not anymore. You know. Uh, union busting is rampant, especially it, in the age of economic disparity. Boy, I'll tell you, you ha I think you're <laughs> onto something. <laughs> yeah. No, Funny I how, how the, the middle class was at its strongest when union membership was at its highest. That's right. No, I. The unions, everybody's <laughs> pay drops, the economy falls out, nobody's pushing to keep up with wages with inflation. Is, 1% idiots are, you know, wasting money away. And well, they're called job creators. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> Hi, we're fighting for a livable wage. Hi, we're fighting for a livable wage. So. On the other hand, they cut the uh, hours so that a lot of the workers can't get uh, Benefit. medical benefits. But that's okay because... We have so much money and taxes left over from fighting oil wars that we obviously can make sure that everybody has the assistance they need in order to survive. So everyone else actually ends up paying those medical costs since uh, Walmart's not yep. willing to pick up their fair share of the, the deal. Yeah. All that money that they make here goes to Walton's Mountain of Gold. Yeah, it doesn't stay local. Dollars. You know, it's, it's when you think factor in... Uh, Pay rate, you know, pay rates and stuff. Only 25% of money stays local when it's a, a non-local business. But when you buy locally, 60% of that money stays in the. In the ah. Now, Nova told us earlier this is the number one Walmart as far as sales and profitability in the in the whole nation. That's amazing. Yeah, this means uh, stronger union when we're ready. Thanks All for. Means. Handing this stuff out, I'll, I'll let you. Uh, if you want to say anything, just grab me. I'm here, yes, and we're live. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> what I tell people when I try to organize people is that it has to do with uh, mentality of whether you think of yourself as a we person or a me person. Oh. And the problem is, is most people nowadays think of themselves as me. Yeah. What's in it for me? Yeah. What's in it for me? They don't understand as a you cannot have a community without everybody around you, and you can't build roads, and you you can't really maintain the society if all you do is think about yourself. And um, that's the problem. Yes. Buildings were set up to because one person by themselves is not powerful enough. Uh, to, you know, no matter what kind of skills you have, you don't have as much skills as 50 people combined. 
or a hundred people combined, or a thousand people combined. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, you know, um, when these people are out here and saying, you know what, I got mine. Well, the problem is the reason why the, the, the Walmarts of the world, the one percenters, are so up there is because everybody <laughs> says, I got mine. And they ended hey, up this is nothing. kind of a fun demo. It was small, but it engaged a lot of people. Any, anything you want to say before we I think it's here? good. It's a good build up for yeah. May 1st. Um, now I oh, tell us what's happening May 1st. May 1st uh, is International Workers' Day. And um, that's where there's a lot of activities that's planned for it. You know, okay. I mean, we're, yeah, this will be a big action here. And so there's, is there going to be something here on May 1st? There's going to be a lot going on here. Oh, <laughs> I bet there's, it'll be more fun. It'll be more lively, maybe. Yeah, yes. a lot more lively. This is, like I said, this is an informational. Just try and get some, right. the community, you know, knowledgeable of what's going on, especially right. with the second store that's opening or thinking about opening up that's right and down the street like downtown yeah, right downtown in the old macy's building so you know it's uh get some literature out there so people can start looking up on uh, all the stats of what's going on with walmart currently and national you know uh here and nationally right and uh you know it's just a build up but uh may first is when the real fun starts great thanks chris and then if we want to find out more facebook slash our walmart honolulu yes, facebook.com uh, forward slash our walmart honolulu great thank you chris <laughs>